somebody asked whether the pyramid from Squat Instruments can be controlled from within a door. So I'm using Ableton and in Ableton I have a MIDI track. It's taking the MIDI from the push and sending to the pyramid and I've put a soft synth on there um, from analog 2 so because we're receiving from the push if I press a key you can hear and you can see me playing there so can we get the steps into pyramid okay so you can see that we're in the live section of the pyramid and I'm just going to arm pyramid I have in Ableton under preferences uh, you can see here is pyramid MIDI USB uh, on and sync on and that's the same for the other section as well here we go output pyramid MIDI USB on and on so it can go in both directions so I will just play a quick sequence just to prove that we can get from one to the other and when I press start on the push two you'll see the pyramid start and what we will see now is under the step section we have the sequence that I just played and we overwrote a little bit at the beginning hit because we went back round the loop after the four bar sequence so anyway that that's that's fine this is just proving the point that the steps have been recorded and to play them back uh, I'm going to there we go I'll turn this one off and if you look here there's another one which was off I'm going to turn that there's another track here this is just the night I've put this here for um, simplicity of the video so I'm taking the MIDI from the pyramid so we might expect that this soft synth analog 2 will play Okay, so as expected, I've pressed play on the push, the squarp sequencer has started, and as we can see here, the sequence is being played, and we can see the push to respond. So yes, the pyramid, in a nutshell, can be controlled um, from the push so how about the other way around where we play on the pyramid and the door responds so to do that uh, in fact we've more or less done this but I'll clear these steps and I'm going to go into into a chord mode on the pyramid as you can see here so when I press these which are called smart pads they're already in key so and, and can I record that sequence well of course because if I do this and I arm Okay, so if we look now, and you can see here the sequence has been recorded. Um, I didn't have Quantize on, so that is why it's misaligned there. Um, so yes, you can. And I've no doubt that we can encode CC, I know we can encode CC messages and send them backwards and forwards. So 
this is a great combination um, and shows the pure versatility of the pyramid sequencer. And this is great because we, when we want to use a software sequencer, we can use the pyramid or we can use push. Or if we just want a hardware solution, we can use the pyramid on its own. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please keep an eye out for other videos. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.